Hello there folks and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Last episode we had a fantastic encounter with Minmus. We gathered so much science, it's not even funny. So today we're going to change paces a little bit and show you a little bit more of the dynamic atmosphere aspect of the game by flying some aircraft. So, well, right now we have a small little space plane hangar that can support 30 parts. Meh. Let's do a bigger one. That can support 255 parts. Also, we have a small little dirt runway right now. Let's upgrade that to a small little pavement runway. Still not as good as it could be, but I don't want to waste too much money on upgrading things right now. Especially when we don't have that much to build with. So, let's take a look at what we can make. We could technically make a rocket-powered space plane, but I think we're going to go with the jet-powered space plane, so I think I'm gonna make something and I'll see you guys back in a bit. Alright, well this is the ugly little contraption I came up with. We really didn't have too much to work with as far as winglets and stuff are concerned, so I threw some wings on here. We have some ailerons, which are these things, elevons actually is what they're actually called, as well as some more wings here. And we have a decoupler here in case anything could possibly go wrong, and it will, so you know what, I probably should throw some parachutes on here too, just in case. I mean, if there's, well, there's a decoupler there in mine as well, so. If we start losing control of the uh, aircraft and can't regain control, we'll just detach the front and uh, do the parachute thingy. So, actually, we'll throw one more stage in here for the decoupler. There we go. And... Right here, these are actually rocket boosters, but or rocket engine fuel tanks, but we don't have any proper jet engine fuel tanks, so we have to use these. And the difference between these and other ones are that they can have oxidizer in them, and we don't need oxidizer for jet engines because jet engines get their oxygen from the atmosphere, so we don't need them to have oxidizer in them, and that will make the ship a little bit lighter, and it does have liquid fuel still. And if you're going to have a jet engine on the back, you have to have air intakes somewhere on it. So there are the air intakes. We have our stuck landing gear that are always stuck in that position, but whatever, that'll happen. Also, we have our service bay with some science. And we should definitely take a new pilot along with us. We love you, Jeb, but we're going to take Valentina Kerman. Because Valentina Kerman is going to be our space plane woman, I guess. And that's going to be about it. Also, there are some solar panels on here. Not that we really need them, but they're there. And we also have um, two vertical stabilizers in a V formation in the back. Also, let's... Uh, that'll be good. Let's go to the parts. And I want to show you the center of mass, center of thrust, and center of lift. What you want to do is you want to get your center of mass and your center of lift as close as possible. However, because these fuel tanks will eventually empty, the center of mass will move further and further forward. So right now, having the center of mass just a little bit behind the center of lift, which is this blue little triangle thingy, that's perfectly fine. We'll be a little bit uh, rear heavy for the time being. But that will all balance itself out as we use fuel. And obviously you want the center of thrust to be in line with both of those. Otherwise wonky things can happen. I'm not going to say wonky things won't happen when we try to fly this. But uh, let's do some science. Save this. It, I didn't even bother naming it because it's a terrible looking piece of work. But whatever. Alright. And here we are. We will throttle up. Actually, we probably don't want to be going this fast. I'm going to engage our SAS because she's a pilot. She can try to stabilize things. And as you can see, we're already kind of wanting to take off. Oh, and a little bit too much. Throttle up, throttle up, throttle up, throttle up, throttle up. Well, that was a fruitful first attempt. Kerbal Space Program at its best. Well, Observe the mystery goo. Hey, st <laughs> and stuff's continuing to explode. Uh, let's log the temperature, and we're getting some science from it. And yeah, as you saw, I guess the center of mass is just a little bit too f far further back. Uh, I thought that it would be fine. 
you know, one would think, crew report. We're getting all this uh, different science from being at our uh, landing strip rather than uh, where we did our stuff before, which was at our launch pad. Well, we'll recover the vessel. We'll do it one more time. We'll add some more thr uh, lift in the back so we don't do a backflip right off the bat. All right, well, there is that. So we've got some science. Not, a much, not enough to do anything um, that great. Also, Valentina Kerman got better XP, which will hopefully prevent her from doing backflips in her ship again because the better experienced your crew are, the better SAS they essentially have. So there's always that to keep in mind. And we need more lift in the back, so let's turn on our center of mass and center of lift. And if we do this, you can see the center of lift uh, moves further backwards because we're adding more wings to the back, essentially. So um, we, we want to put two there, not just one. And there we go. That's much, much better. And if I move this further back, there we go. We're pretty much smack on center with that. And eventually the center of... Uh, Mass will move further forward, which will make us nosedive, but if that happens, we do have our decoupler there. So let's save that and launch. Our last attempt wasn't, you know, too bad. Okay, it was pretty bad, but we did get some useful signs from it. Probably shouldn't be thrusting up this quickly, but here we go. And we're, yeah, doing stuff, so let's... Hey, it flies! Actually, quite well at that. Now that we changed our center of mass. Or, well, actually, center of lift and center of mass was all changed when we added those wings, but... There's a, we're going to try to make it... There's an airstrip out here with some cool biomes that we can research, so... Valentina Kerman is loving it. Let's open this. While we are over the ocean, we are going to record some temperature. I believe we have two recording temperature devices. Only one, apparently, so I guess we're not going to do that then. Full throttle! And apparently people have been trying to get to the Kerbal, or this little abandoned airstrip as fast as possible, and I think somebody did it in like 20-something seconds, which is absolutely insane. But they were doing it in, um, oh god, they were doing it in sandbox mode, so it was a little bit easier to do. But that's absolutely madness getting here in like 20 or 30 seconds. I am by no means going to get there in that amount of time. In fact, probably going to do a sh short little cut until we're closer to there, so see you guys there. All right, well, we are on approach to the runway, so I'm going to kill our throttle. We're going to try to yaw to get ourselves in line with this. Maybe even do a pitch and whoa. And there's a lot of uh, G-forces that are undergoing right now. Well, we might not be able to land this properly, but we'll definitely be able to get there if we eject. All right, there we go. We're heading down. And we're going to cut our throttle completely. And we're going to have some fun at the runway. And we're going <laughs> to be a little bit wasteful here by probably ejecting our rocket. Yeah. Goodbye. And hello, abandoned space center. Yay. Where'd our... Oh, yep, yeah, there it goes. It's trying to fly. Goodbye. Good night, sweet prince. Hey, we can actually recover some of that stuff, so I guess that's cool. <laughs> Boom. All right, well, as you saw, we didn't really use much fuel, so we could probably go really, really far in that and, you know, explore the biomes and whatnot. But while we are here, we will do some science. Let's, uh... Ooh, it actually tells us the temperature. That's cool. Log temperature. The temperature here is quite pleasant and would be a nice place to live. Keep data. And mystery goo. And it says, uh, observation from Kervin's grassland. You observe the goo. Okay, not anything too special there. Let's do a crew report. You record the crew's assessment of the situation. Not much science from that, but... Well, okay. That's EVA. Donk. <laughs> there we go. 
Well, let us. Yay, we can run and have some fun. We'll go take a look and see what's inside these hangars here. It looks like the uh, the tower over there has seen better days. It looks like pieces are falling off of it. Can I speed up time? Yeah, let's speed up time while we run. And we'll take a EVA report from inside of this little place. So, all right. What is there to see? Looks like some abandoned things over there. Yep, definitely the surface is falling off of that and landing there. Don't want to be in the way of that. All right, well, slow down time. Let's uh, plant the flag for Kerbal Space Command. Ha ha, there we go, Kerbal Space Program, awesome. Eh, this is going to be, whoops. Abandoned air field. And there's no plaque text. We're going to do an EVA report. I don't think a spacesuit is entirely necessary to get here. All right, keep data. And let's uh, go exploring. Whee! Super fast. And inside of here are nostalgia parts for anybody who's ever played this game from when it was an early, early, early release. I think it was... Uh, I got this game when it was like $10, and it wasn't on Steam, and it was about 3 or four years ago or something like that. It was a long time ago, and this is pretty much all of the parts that you could have, and there was one decoupler, I believe, and there was one other engine and a parachute, and that was about it. Also, space tape. There was your ever-important space tape, and that was the first command pod that you ever had with uh, Bill Jeb and Bob all inside of there. Uh, good old days of Kerbal Space Program. All right, well, let's see what else there is to see over here. Ooh, pretty stuff. I don't think there's anything else in any of these. Nope. Well, let's, uh, I guess we can go home then. Can I do another EVA report? Yeah, whatever. Okay, same thing. I think we got more science, though. I think we had three science from the last one. This one got 4.8, so that's always nice. And there's our flag. We're gonna, we don't even need to run back to our ship. We're just gonna recover the vessel. And then we are going to go to, oh, well, we got the uh, 4.8 science, not a lot, no XP gained, but over here we can recover these pieces. And there we go, 13 science, not bad. Got a whole bunch of funds from that as well. There's some uh, debris here that we can recover. And we don't want to recover the flag, so there we go. I do believe we have enough science for nothing, <laughs> but... That was still a fun little episode. I think next episode we're definitely going to have to try to do some more advanced stuff. But that was fun. We had some fun with space planes. They weren't really space planes. They were just jets. But all right. Well, thank you folks for watching. Next episode we'll do a lot more fun stuff. So thank you folks for watching. See you guys next time.